10 minutes from where we're staying, so they're really close to the pyramids. They're somewhere down there. <laughs> Smells like horses. filming because of how pretty everything is. <laughs> Six smaller ones for the queens and then three big ones for the pharaohs. Yeah. We'll talk about where um, we booked to go on this horse ride until we get back. No, we did not buy it in the pyramids. <laughs>
200 Egyptian pounds to get into the pyramids, which is roughly about eight pounds in UK yeah. money. Uh, really, really cheap to say it's a wonder of the world. That's each, nice. Yeah, that is each. Um, and obviously we did have to buy our tickets. We did go in there the other day to do a guided tour around, but this time we decided we wanted to do it from horseback. Um, I can't recommend this. They're called F stables and they're only about 10 minutes from where we're staying so they're really close to the pyramids they're somewhere down there <laughs> um, the horses were absolutely immaculate and the stables were lovely the people there were lovely they all spoke really fluent English um, our guy he didn't say too much about the pyramids um, but we weren't too fussed because we had done a, a guided tour around there before he did hassle us a bit for a tip didn't he yeah but... when I read the reviews <laughs> online that is quite a common thing that you know he was saying oh well, that's not enough for a tip so we gave, we gave him about 100, well, we gave him 150 yeah. Egyptian pounds so, and uh, he, want, he wanted about 200. But. Yeah, but we just, you just got to, you know, they just try it on because of tourists. You just got to be like, no, that's all you're having. You're lucky we're even giving you a tip because we'd already paid, you know, for the tour itself. Um, and he did get a pay with the um, stable company as well. Yeah, he did. So, so it's, just, it's just what they're like out here. You know, they're always pushing for more money from tourists. Um, but yeah, other than that, the horses were in amazing condition. They were really, really calm, really nice. Even if you were a beginner, me and Joe both have ridden horses for a long time. But Even they, if you were a beginner, they were so like, sound and just... Yeah, they completely look after you. We were a bit worried at one point, there was a plastic bag flying down uh, this concrete road we were staying on. And if you know horses, you know what I was thinking? Oh my gosh, that horse, is, we're going to spook. I haven't got a helmet on and I'm going to fall to the floor. The bag went underneath her legs, through her legs, round out the other side and she didn't even flinch. A few minutes later a motorbike just drove past. Yeah, they're doing a bit of construction at the pyramids at the minute because they're, getting into, they're building a new uh, museum there which we spoke about the other day. Um, there was a big lorry there and he honked his horn, I jumped out my skin, the horse, she didn't even move. They were really bomb-proof. Yeah. The definition of bomb-proof. Which is crazy because you think of like our horses to be a little bit hot, you know, a little bit Feisty. Yeah, and she was a bit like she had an up to it. You can see in the video she's got a she got an up, she wasn't a plodder as such, but yeah, just completely bomb proof. I was really surprised. Any beginners would feel completely would feel completely happy on someone like her or the other horses that were the stables. Yeah, definitely. And we had the whole tour to ourselves, it was just me and Joe. <laughs> Another good thing about doing it on a horseback is you really get to get up close with the pyramids. Because whilst we did it on like walking and on the path you didn't really get to see all the angles so no, close yeah you can get around a lot quicker by horse obviously and you can go next to the pyramids there's like a big desert desert area which is still within the pyramids grounds um and it'd be a lot harder to walk over there by foot in fact you'll only see that there's camels and horses that go up there so it's nice you can get some lovely pictures and views of the pyramids from up there as well but i would just 100 percent recommend to go with a company that's outside you know that's not when you go in to buy the tickets to the pyramids it's not in there outside pre-book it and yeah go in that way and definitely fb stables <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's good